Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. New Claude 3.7 Sonnet is insane. Looks like Untrophic is finally back again with a new model release. And this is just truly insane. Allow me to introduce Claude 3.7 Sonnet. It's their most intelligent model to date and it's a hybrid reasoning model that's producing near instant responses or extended step-by-step -step thinking. It's one model but two ways to think. They're also releasing an agentic coding tool called Claude Code, but Claude 3.7 Sonnet is a significant upgrade over its predecessors. Its extended thinking mode gives the model an additional boost in math, physics, as well as instruction, following coding, and many other tests. Let's dive in. This may be the best model to ever have been created, which is surpassing Claude 3.5 Sonnet by miles on everything. And it surpasses models like Grok 3, DeepSeek R1, as well as all the GPTs, O3 Mini, and so many other models. Claude 3.7 Sonnet is particularly strong in coding, as well as front-end web development. Just take a look at the performance of this model on the Sway Bench. Its record is beating a standard high of 62.3 on this benchmark test, as well as a 70.3 percentage with a custom scaffold. Just to put some perspective, the O1 as well as the O3 barely reach 50%, which is just insane. Now I can say 100% that this is currently the best coding based model that has ever been released and it's something that you can access today. It also has a larger context. The only thing that I would be concerned about is its rate limits. So now what we're going to do is assess this model in different prompts, mostly focusing on coding and reasoning tests. We're going to first start off by having it build a simple web page using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So we're going to go ahead and set off this prompt to create a simple web page to track my fitness goals and workouts, make it modern and sleek. And the great thing is that with Claude, it has an artifacts feature within its chatbot so you can see and visualize what is happening live. You can see that you can now select the Claude 3.7 model for free. Something that you will notice right away is that this model is doing such a great job in terms of its context length. If you were to compare the response that you would get with Claude 3.5 Sonnet, it would have ended a long time ago. But in this case, you can see that it's still continuously working on generating it. And there we go. We now have our app fully working. You can see that this is a fitness tracking app that generated the goals, the workouts, as well as the stats. And like they said in their blog post, this is a reasoning model with a better context line in comparison to its previous models. So it will be particularly strong in terms of its coding output because it will be able to provide larger code snippets and the model will be able to reason with what works better in a longer context format. So that's why it will be perfect for front end development. And it's something that will assist you in coding really well, especially with its reasoning model. Next, we're going to add this reasoning prompt. What this prompt states, it says a room has three light bulbs and outside the room are three switches, each controlling one bulb. You can only enter the room once. How do you determine which switch controls which bulb? It's a logical reasoning prompt and a deductive thinking prompt that also focuses on how well the model is able to strategize, plan, and deduce outcomes. Now we have the result. It provided me with six answers, but on number six provided me a subset of three different scenarios. This was actually really correct and it was able to properly critically think and strategize the development of this answer. Next, I would like it to create an SVG representation of a butterfly with symmetrical wings and simple styling. And the reason why we're doing this is because we're trying to assess how well this model is in terms of generating SVG code. By the way, it has succeeded with this prompt. It was able to symmetrically generate the butterfly and we're trying to see how well this model is in terms of mastering SVG code, how well it is in terms of transformations as well as scalings. And right away, as we saw it, it was able to do this quickly, which is just impressive. Next up, I'm assessing this model in terms of implementing a function that finds the longest palindromic sequence in a given string. Optimize it using dynamic programming. So let's send in this prompt. And as you can see, it rapidly sent over the script. Overall, this prompt is assessing how well the model is in terms of its algorithmic thinking as well as its optimization skills. It's by focusing on the dynamic programming aspect, which it does, but not only does it generate the script for this, it also focuses on how well it is able to optimize for any sort of implementation overlapping sub-problems. 
Next, let's say create a responsive image gallery using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. The gallery should display a grid of images, which can be clicked to open a light box, full screen view where the user can scroll through the images. Let's send this. And here's the result. It was able to do it right away. So if I'm going to click on this, you can see that is just impressive. It was able to do it faster than I expected. You can also see that it focuses on adding the light box whenever you click it. You can see that it pans out the background when you're in the full screen mode. Next, let's say create a simple AI chatbot using vanilla JavaScript. This chatbot should use user input, track for predefined responses, and provide a appropriate reply. And if the input is not recognized, it should return a default message. Let's send it. And this is the result. This is our chatbot. We can now talk to it and we'll get responses back from it, which is just insane. This is a model that will rapidly expedite any sort of software development because this is truly one of the best coding based models that's out there. And based on my simple interaction with this model, I can clearly tell you that this is the best coding based model that's out there. It might be a little bit pricey, but this is something that I definitely recommend that you explore. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Introducing PeopleBots. PeopleBots is your entire online sales, support, and coaching team. PeopleBots will learn your business and sell, support, and train for you. It can chat. It can even speak to your prospects. It can work 24-7 with no breaks and help you grow your business and get you happier customers. PeopleBots is the advanced AI website chat that your business needs today. It can be anyone you want it to be. It can learn and remember everything. Just give it instruction manuals, your knowledge base, or write a little document that tells everything PeopleBots need to know. PeopleBots help you sell, support, coach, speak. It can even work with human teammates. It will help you get leads, and PeopleBots learn continuously. PeopleBots can spark off the conversation by sending your customer a message. PeopleBots can integrate perfectly with your website's design. It can speak every language. It can also keep records of all chats. Like I told you earlier, you can customize PeopleBot's knowledge and personality, but that's not all. You can create many versions. You can create multiple bots, each with a different expertise and information to integrate on different websites or web pages. It has ready-made bots for you to use. No need to plug in your AI or bring in your API keys. Integrate PeopleBots in any web page in less than two minutes. And a lot more. So what are you waiting for? Get PeopleBots now. Just go to getpeoplebots.in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.